This is a Dreamer 3D printer from Flash Forge. We're looking at changing the mainboard today. You'll need your uh, screwdriver and a couple of Allen keys. They both come in the toolbox, not these ones, but there's ones from the toolbox. Um, the first thing we're going to do is remove the base, but make sure the power is turned off. Make sure you tip it over nice and gently. So make sure you put the door at the top. You don't want to scratch that. Okay, let's go. Now remove the cover gently, put it somewhere out of the way, and you can see all the electricals. Now, uh, if you've got it turned off, good. Make sure you've got it unplugged as well. We're going to be disconnecting all the wires and cables off of this main board on the side. We're also going to be removing the Wi-Fi card because that doesn't come with your new main board. Uh, we're also going to be removing the uh, SD card because that doesn't come with your new main board either. So if you've had to have a new main board, uh, chances are you've, you've had it hooked up to power where there's been a power surge. These cables are easy. If you um, just use your fingernail, you should be able to flick that brown bit back. Same with this one. Fingernail, those pull out. Some of these others get two fingers on them, hold one down and pull on the other. Like so. There's a little button on the bottom of this you have to push before you pull it out. These are colour coordinated. Like so. SD card. We want to slide that silver bit back to the right hand side and then that opens. Just be careful that you grab the SD card out and put it somewhere safely. Let's take out the Wi-Fi card. There's a spacer in between behind this. Just gently pull it off. Make sure you don't lose the spacer. Put those things to the side. Now we can remove the main board itself. There's a straight power case to do the main board. Now be careful just to hold this, the board and main board on the edges. Once you have your new main board, take it out of the packet, being careful not to touch the electrical connections. First of all, let's plug the Wi-Fi card in, lining up all of the 10 pins. When we have the Wi-Fi card in place, we need to get the spacer, and the spacer needs to go in the corner, and then the bolt needs to go through it. We use this bolt to first hold the board in place. You'll have to pull the bolts out slightly to get that end of the card to fit through where it's meant to sit. And then you can push the bolts in, grab your Allen key and screw it in. Next, let's bolt it down. Let's put the rest of the bolts in to secure the main board into place. Once it's secured, let's get the SD card. Now to put the SD card in, it only goes one way, with the pins towards the right hand side. It should sit in there nicely. Hold it in place with one hand. Flip the lid over being careful not to jam it. Pull it out to the right if you need to. Move it over the SD card and slide it to the left to lock it in. If that's locked in place, it shouldn't go anywhere. Now we've got 
the SD card in. We've also got the Wi-Fi in. Let's start putting the cables back in place. Starting with the ribbon cables, make sure those brown connectors are open. Slide the cable into place with the blue part facing you. Make sure it sits right in there before we lock the brown connector down. Do the same on the top. Make sure it's in nicely in place. Hold it down while you clip the brown connector over. We can then put the long white lead into the top white socket. Make sure that's in place. We can put the power lead then we have the black small black, we have the small white, and we have the four pin connector. Now that's in place, time to put the cover back on. Make sure that you get the cut out at the place where you can see the power. You can check the power is set to 230 volts. Put the cover in place and put the bolts back in. There we have it. Let's test the Dreamer. Tip it out carefully. Plug in your cables. And turn it on. If you go into the print menu, you'll see it should have the same memory in there on the SD card as to what it had before. That checks the internal SD card, the micro SD card. Um, also in the print menu, you'll see it says card error. That's just because we haven't put the card, the proper SD card in yet. So make sure you have taken this out of your old board. If you haven't, take it out now. Make sure you turn off the Dreamer with the SD card in. Turn it back on again. Then we go back to the print menu. We should see that the memory is loaded and it's got the files in place as it did before.